What's up, people? Alex here from Pike's Wine and Liquor. I just wanted to share today with you uh, the biggest issue that I've been having uh, with my liquor store lately. So we're growing quickly. Uh, last year, to be totally honest, we closed at $2.5 million in sales. And that was up from $1.2 million in sales uh, about three years ago. So last year was 2.5, and this year, because of all this coronavirus, all the deliveries we've been doing, all the uh, ads we've been paying for, uh, we're gonna be probably closing at 4 million, maybe even 4.5 million. We'll see how November, Oct October, November, December go. Uh, but funny enough, even though that uh, my revenue increased by, will, is, is increasing by $1.5 million this year, uh, I actually am, out of money, I'm 100% broke. Uh, I haven't really been paying myself. Um, I mean, I do, but it's very small. And um, and the other thing is that I actually had to take out a loan, uh, basically for 150,000. Uh, this is actually the second time this year I've taken out a $150,000 loan, uh, just to keep up with all of the expenses. So I'm actually just walking around uh, my new warehouse here, which I'm renting out. And so moving into this warehouse and. Uh, and setting it up, you know, with shelves and and getting the AC running and the cameras in here and stuff, that cost about thirty thirty five thousand dollars so far. Uh, the rent is like fifty five hundred, so it's it's pretty standard. Uh, but the issue is is that the further you grow your liquor business, the more inventory you need. Uh, so currently, I'm sitting on about a little bit less than one million dollars um, in inventory. In uh, you know between the warehouse and the uh, and the store you know for my business, uh, but I'm always running out of products. You know we're always you you would think that I have my uh, my inventory in order, but as a matter of fact, we're missing a lot of big name products. Currently, we're out of I would say even 50% of our most popular sellers uh, because I'm on what you call COD. I owe the distributors money, uh, you know because I've ordered too much, and because. Um, we're just not selling our inventory quickly enough, uh, believe it or not. So even though business is going up quickly, very quickly, our inventory costs are just always ever growing, you know? And so I believe that I think any store, any liquor store specifically, is going to have the same issue that we're having, which is you need more money. You need more money when you make more money. The more you sell, the more you got to buy. And the issue is that in order to sell more, you probably have to invest just like we did, either whether it's expanding, whether it's advertising, hiring more people, um, trying out new things. It all costs money. Hiring new people, I think I just said that. It all costs money. Uh, so what to do? You know, That is the issue I'm facing right now. I'm, I'm uh, you know, speaking with a few different people on options. So far, it seems like my only options are three. A, grow very slowly and steadily like I'm doing. But I've been in this business for many years now and I know that it's gonna take at least five years if we're lucky, uh, but probably more along the lines of 10 more years before we can get the inventory up to two, three million where I believe at the two, three million mark, it, that might not be enough, but I believe that at that point we would have enough you know in order to be able to um, really grow without having to worry about paying the vendors and being on COD and not having enough money to function let alone pay myself which you know unfortunately I haven't really been uh, been able to do so much uh, but it, that's my choice I could I could uh, force the the store to, to, to put more money in my pocket but I'd rather you know build a warehouse or whatever uh, always looking forward so that was option a grow slowly okay one step at a time which is what I've been doing uh, with the exception of taking out uh, about two hundred fifty thousand dollars this year in loans uh, so option B get a giant loan <sighs> only problem with that is I've never taken a loan and when I say a giant loan I mean I'm looking for a million two million dollar loan maybe three million dollar loan uh, because, like I said, I took that the 250, and I mean, it's just in and out. You know, it, it, it's it's just not enough. Uh, 
I, I think that uh, two million would probably be su sufficient uh, to, to cover our inventory needs right now, plus give us enough to be able to actually hire another person. I need I need to hire more people. I need to hire an assistant, not an assistant, uh, like a secretary type of person to just the amount of phone calls and emails and and uh, the bookkeeping stuff that. I, I've been doing all of myself and you know I as as many responsibilities as I give to my employees it's not good to have your cashier do this and that and and my inventory guys to also add on you know totally unrelated uh, responsibilities I, I would rather have the cashier focus on selling more profitable items and the inventory guy focusing on having our inventory be perfect you know uh, so that's option B finding uh, a loan and the other problem with that is, of course, it costs uh, money, you know. So from what I'm understanding, if I were to get about a $2 million loan at your average rate of, um, I think I did a 4% calculation in like one of those mortgage calculators online, uh, over the course of 30 years, I would end up paying somewhere uh, close to a million dollars uh, in interest, basically, which sounds scary. You know, it just doesn't sound like, you know, 5%, you would think, you know, oh, it's it's like 100000 No, it's like over the amortization or whatever you call it of the entire loan, you end up paying back the bank uh, like, you know, basically $3 million for for $2 million, uh, or even more. I got to check that again. But option three, or C, is uh, something that has just popped into my head after talking uh, with a few people is finding uh, some investors or an investor. And that is something that uh, sounds interesting to me. I wouldn't mind um, exchanging a piece of my company for uh, for a couple million bucks, you know? I mean, we're growing. We're gonna continue growing. Uh, we're, our plans are huge. Uh, if everything goes well, you know, we'll be doing uh, 10 million plus next year. Um, and with uh, with that little extra boost of money, you know, we could possibly take it to 20, 30, 40, 50. Uh, if I could just hire the right people and uh, start focusing on things like, you know, hiring a programmer to, to make the POS exactly the way we want it, hiring video people and, and designers to make our online presence uh, really, you know, stand out from even huge stores like Total Wine and, and everybody uh, else who's really big in the game. So those are the three options that I've come up with. Oh, you know, it's funny. T today, uh, option four is uh, I spoke with somebody, never really thought about it. It's funny because I, I invest a little bit in stocks, well, very little, uh, mostly for fun because I lose too much money at the casinos when I go. So I, I play with some stocks from time to time. But a friend of mine said, uh, hey, why don't you, you know, take your liquor store public somehow, you know? And I Googled it. And uh, it's actually within, within the realm of possibilities. It's just a bunch of accounting work and underwriting work or whatever. And we could technically become a, like a publicly traded company where, you know, somebody would, would uh, for one reason or another, buy stock in our company. I would maintain, for example, 51% ownership and the other 49% would kind of go into shareholders. And uh, that would be another way interesting way to to find some money to grow quickly and I, I want to stress quickly here because the, the the biggest problem with option one which is going slowly is um, is the the opportunity is right now you know it's always right now you know the, the faster we can dominate the better we could dominate our area and so can you so let me know what you guys think I guess I'm I'm fishing for some more ideas here, but let me know what you think and uh, see you next time.